This video is about how to collect electrical loads and how to calculate the rating and the size of the MCB distribution board required. For the purpose of clear understanding, I will make use of an example as follows. Moving on to the example, the electrical loads to be installed in a particular building are given as follows. Electrical load type. This is the column. Red phase number of fittings or appliance. Yellow phase number of fittings or appliance. Blue phase number of fittings or appliance. Electric bulb. 26 watts at uh, 0 0.6 power factor. And 230 volts. 0 0.8 diversity factor. We have 25 number on red phase. 20 on yellow face, 22 on blue face, then 2 gun cutting and switch socket at uh, 0.6 diversity factor. We have 10 on red face, 8 on yellow face, 9 on blue face. Then we have uh, 1 gun cutting and switch socket at 2.6 diversity factor as well. We have 9 on red face. We have uh, 8 on yellow face and 10 on blue face. 1200 watts, 230 volts, 50 hertz electric water heater. Power factor is equal to 1. Diversity factor is also equal to 1. It's a heating load. That's why the power factor is 1. Any heating load has a unity power factor. So we have 1. Water heater on the red face, two on yellow face, and one on blue face. Two horsepower hair conditioner. Power factor is equal to 0.8. Diversity factor is also equal to 0 0.8. At 20, at 230 volts, 50 hertz. We have two on red face, two on yellow face, two on blue face. Now the questions. A part, calculate each face total load in VA. That is the apparent power S on each face. Hence or otherwise, that is B part, hence or otherwise determine the current rating of the miniature circuit breaker distribution board. That is MCBDB. To be used in the building given that loads on each face are connected to 7 db are going if each uh, of the faces has 7 db are going it means 7 here 7 here 7 here 7 on red 7 for red 7 for yellow 7 for blue given a total of 21 all right that is the meaning of that because it's three phase distribution board. So we move on and uh, solve the, the problem. Finally, these are the solutions to the problems A and B. Before we go further, please note that the apparent power S in VA is equal to the active or the real power in watts divided by the power factor PF there. So, and that is the major uh, factor in, in what uh, is being done here. Like now, we have 26 watt bulb at 0.6 uh, power factor, and this, this is the potential frequency, and this is the diversity factor. The, the fact that all the bulbs will not be switched on at the same time uh, makes one to introduce a factor that is less than one and that is what is used to multiply the uh, power requirement for a number of items for instance the the bulbs on the, the red face we have 25 bulbs each of them rated 26 watts. 
So what is important is to convert 26 watts to VA. The 26 watts will be divided by the power factor. And that will give us the VA times the number of the electric bulbs on the, the red face. Then we multiply the result by 0 0.8, which is the diversity factor. And uh, the result is what is being sent here. And the same thing holds for uh, the electric bulbs on other faces. Then the 13 amp switch socket. For two gang, the two gang uh, switch socket is just a, a double socket. So the power assigned to a two gang uh, switch, switch socket, like 13 amp switch socket, is 600 VA. So when we have 600 VA, and then at a diversity factor of uh, 0 0.6, and then the total number of double switch socket on red face is 10. So this is the result that we get there. The same thing holds for, or uh, similar thing holds for other faces. Now, when we come to the one gang, it's 300 VA that is assigned to a one gang uh, uh, 13 amp switch socket. So if, you cal if the calculation is properly done, we have nine number on red face. We multiply by, we multiply 300 by nine, and uh, apply the diversity factor, and we get this. So similar thing goes for uh, the socket on other faces. That is uh, the yellow and the blue faces. So now we come to the electric water heater, which is a heating load. The Power factor is one. That's why the the water the active power is being divided by one. Then uh, we still multiply it by one because it's only one that is uh, connected to the red face. And then the uh, the diversity factor is also one. Since it's, all, it's only one, there are not many. So that's why the diversity factor is one. Or we say we don't apply the diversity factor when we don't have many uh, many of uh, the items. So similar thing holds for other phases. Now we come to the air conditioners. Two horsepower. You convert one horsepower to um, uh, to to the wattage. When you convert it to uh, the active power in what you you uh, is seven hundred and forty six watts seven forty six watts will give us one horsepower or one horsepower is equal to seven forty six watts so the wattage you want to convert it to VA so that's why you are dividing it by the power factor. The wattage divided by the power factor will give you will, will give us the VA. But since we have two, two AC or two horsepower uh, on red face, that's why we are multiplying it by these two. And this is the this one the one we have done here is just one uh, horsepower. So but we are having two horsepower, that's why we are multiplying by these two. So for the fact that we have two of such AC units, two horsepower, two units of two horsepower and air condition, so that's why we are multiplying by these two. And then we still need to multiply the result by 0 0.8, which is the diversity factor. After all, all the ACs or all the air conditioners will not be working at the maximum uh, cooling capacity or all of them may not be switched on at the same time. That's why we are having, we are multiplying the power requirement by 0 0.8. So, and this is the answer. So similar calculation holds for the air conditioners on other phases. 
So now we need to have a spear. So in case the the building user or the installation user they want to connect some other loads in future or even at the or immediately they finish the project, it, it can happen like that. So we are providing 1,000 VA here and 1,000 VA here and then 1,200 VA here as spare load. All right, and then now we now come to total per phase, total VA per phase. So when you, you will add all these ones, this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this, plus this this will be the, this is the answer. So similarly, the same thing is done here on the yellow face and on the blue face. And these are the results. So now uh, this is this one is in VA and then uh, I phase means phase current at 230 volts. So now if you divide the VA by A. I mean, if you divide VA by V, what you will have is A. So what I'm saying is that if you divide the apparent power by the voltage, what you have is a current. So um, the current in this case is this uh, apparent power in VA divided by voltage which is 230 and this is the result 49 ampere here in this uh, on, red, on yellow face is 50 ampere on the blue face is 49 ampere as well because uh, the meaning that the uh, red face current is the same thing as a uh, blue face uh, current it just happens like that is, uh, this one is uh, a fairly balanced load system. It's a fairly balanced load system because the currents, they are very close to each other. In, in this case, this and this, they are same. There's only the 50, that's 50, ampere, and 50 ampere, that is a bit higher than 49. So that is the answer to question uh, A. And then B, B, B size and rating. So when we, we look at uh, 50 amp, which is the highest here, the next higher and closest uh, distribution, standard distribution board rating is 63 ampere. And then in the, the question tells us that uh, 7 ampere, I mean 7 uh, algoids have been assigned to each of the phases. So seven year, seven year, seven year. That's twenty one. If we, we now introduce uh, this one as a spear, this as a spear, this as a spear. So making twenty four. Since we are dealing with three phase, the the notation, the way it's written is sixty three amp eight way. Eight eight way. That eight way means in the eight way TPN, this is triple phase with neutral NCB distribution board. Um, eight way means eight in three places. When well, if you are to count it uh, as if it's a single phase distribution board, eight in three places that's 24 are going. So the, the distribution board that uh, will be needed is um, the one where we can have uh, eight red uh, faces and eight yellow faces and eight blue faces as well so and then we have we count the number of circuit breakers the miniature circuit breaker like this so this is uh, an example of uh, miniature circuit breaker so if we open when we open that distribution board we find 24 of this in fact that is because we are saying is eight way 
63 amp or 63 amp 8 way triple phase between track MCB distribution board and uh, that is the solution to be part of the question so with this the two questions have uh, they've been answered and uh, if you find the uh, the video useful please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching